Cancer, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of November 15th to the 21st, 2021. Thank you so much for joining me as I cleanse the energy. I do want to thank you for it, genuinely for all of your love and support on this channel. Don't forget to like and comment as always. Um, but if you're looking to book a personal reading with myself, uh, just shoot down to the description box where you'll see the options, the pricing, and my email. Just uh, reach out and I'll get that started for you. You'll see the link for my PayPal for donations as well. Uh, more than welcome, of course. All right. But um, keep in mind, this is general. Don't stress over what doesn't resonate. Just take what does and um, check out your other placements within your chart. Your sun, your moon, your rising, your Mars, your Venus, you name it. Okay. We're going to begin by pulling a couple messages or at least one overall focus for the week from the Sacred Forest Oracle deck. All right. I feel like you're worried about your appearance this week for whatever reason, how you're appearing to others or how other people are perceiving you. Okay. Very interesting. I feel like you're starting to see the, the light at the end of the tunnel or starting to see your own individual path a bit more clearly this week. But the overall focus for the week is expansion. Okay. You figuring out new and improved ways to expand your horizons. Um, and it comes in the form of enlightenment, right? I was just saying, be feeling more enlightened to where you're meant to head or if you're on the right path, right? Or if you're, some of you feeling like you're going through a bit of a detour, all the meanwhile going through some healing, okay? But this enlightenment is allowing you to feel content, letting certain people, places, or situations go. For some of you, a lack of doubt. Interesting. I meant to say a sense of doubt or um, second-guessing things to let that go. Okay? But definitely expansion is the overall focus for the week. We're going to continue by pulling um, the main part of the reading from the Tattoo Tarot deck. Okay? Okay. One more shuffle this way. Page of Pentacles and the lovers, okay? It may feel like a lot of you are thinking a lot about uh, love in your life, whether, you know, you love a specific somebody, uh, whether you're going to gain a new level of love in your life or whether you love your career, okay? You could be thinking about a financial investment that you look to move towards or you are trying to make the best out of and asking yourself, do I really love uh, this situation at this point? Is it worth investing my hard-earned money into? For my lovely cancers to continue this weekly read. Okay. Bear with the background noise if you can hear it. The seven of uh, cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you have a lot of options when it comes to love, when it comes, if you're single, uh, when it comes to career, or for a lot of you, when it comes to feeling enlightened, you know, seeing the way. Um, choices on what to add to your situation feels like friends as well. And so we're beginning the four cards that I, that came out, uh, with the two of wands. You can feel very affected by energy this week. Okay. Uh, look at that imagery. She's feeling very serious, but it could feel like the world is your oyster at this time as you blossom in a new direction or in a more confident direction. But this confidence could come across very overly serious, uh, especially in the first half of the week. Okay, let's continue by pulling um, some clarifiers from the uh, Gilded Tarot deck. Sorry, uh, yeah, Gilded Tarot Royale deck. You may find that you just lose your thought process at certain points in the week, and then, or you stutter in your words. It's like. Just roll with it, right? Don't second guess it or just correct yourself, you know, and then move right along. Can't sort of let it get the best of you, okay? So we have two knights, okay? Because at the bottom of the deck, we have the knight of pentacles. You might find the part of the week is moving too slowly. Or your progress with a business, a project, your job, moving too damn slowly. It could just feel that, like it's the feeling in the air. But all the meanwhile, you being pushed at the beginning of the week to move towards what you desire in a passionate manner. 
all right, in a fiery manner. I feel like a lot of you have fire sign uh, placements within your chart, okay, or you could be dealing with one, it could be both for you, but with the Three of Pentacles, gaining a lot of attention, okay, in a situation that you're moving towards or that you long for at this time. It could be a situation like your job, your career, where you long for more, more success, a different promotion, a, a totally different job, or more money, and you're gaining more attention or you're being pushed to sort of be in the spotlight and present a level of uh, progress or just whatever you've been creating, working on. Uh, with the rain in the background, I'm getting let the abundance rain in, especially as you begin the week as a reminder of what you deserve. Page of Swords. Push to learn more about people, situations, um, facts, new subjects within your job, feeling inspired to research new options on the internet. Okay. Four of Cups, it feels like things are about to align for you in a very abundant way with the Six of Pentacles, okay? A gift of abundance uh, in the form of clarity or options, once again, going back to the Seven of Cups. With the Four of Cups and the Two of Wands, once again, it, we get the number 22 coming out. You feeling very uh, uh, confident in the fact that things are about to work out for you, even if at times it doesn't feel that way. I don't know why that's coming out, but you at times feeling quite stubborn when learning new knowledge or gaining new clarity on what lies ahead, okay? Uh, it feels like gaining new options allows you to once again expand yourself in a way that other people wouldn't expect. You might have predicted this to a certain extent if you feel a bit psychic or um, you have the ability to predict in one way, shape, or form. But it feels like a lot of you are getting ready to go on a new adventure. It could just feel like an adventure in the sense of entering a new chapter and it's a week to prepare to expect the best to learn more about what lies ahead or it could just feel like you're uh, preparing for travels right uh, a vacation a trip or it could be a move of residence very interesting nine of cups everything comes out in a reading for a reason okay something takes place from the set first half of the week to the beginning of the second half uh, from the first half of the week to the beginning of the second half, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, where you are now jumping for joy. You're being pushed to sort of revisit what you've been through up until this point. It feels like a chapter is about to close out or just did. A lot of you are jumping for joy, even if you're a bit stressed. It's like you're getting ready for something exciting, something that once again you're passionate about. That is very different for you at this point in your life. Your world is truly changing. And I'm being drawn back to this imagery in the beginning of the reading where the world is in uh, your hands, okay? Male or female. Don't get distracted by the gender and the imagery. All right? But we also have the, ch uh, the Ten of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. It just feels like you're very stressed. Uh, it could feel like a never-ending battle to achieve certain changes, a certain level of success at the end of the day. Uh, but you have a lot in your back, a lot on your plate. You can achieve what you desire at this time. Uh, take a leap of faith, a very full card feeling coming through. But with the King of Cups being the last card, it feels like you do finish off the week feeling confident, but a bit emotional. All right, your third eye opening once again to where you're meant to, to go, what you're meant to achieve, what lies ahead. A week full of uh, an immense amount of growth, okay? But it needs to have patience with oneself, with your emotions that come to be with, for a lot of you, your dreams and a lack of sleep, okay? Maybe even other energies around you that you cross paths with. But it's interesting because it feels like certain emotions are stemming or coming to the surface due to a situation that isn't coming to an end just yet, all right? Again, it could be a job. It could be a relationship. It could be a living situation. It's going to be different for all of you. Um, I feel I need to say, think about where cancer lies within your chart, and for some of you, it could just resonate, you know, outside of that. But, um, yeah, it just feels like you're a bit emotional due to a situation that can't come to an end just yet. But you know intuitively you're being reminded by the universe and spirit time and time again throughout the week that it's going to soon enough when the time is right. Divine timing, okay? It, there's a need to, especially towards the end of the week when you're feeling most emotional or just a bit depleted, to take a step back, back, excuse me, adjust your perspective and simply be within your own energy. 
Okay, feeling like people could just be too much at this time. As memories and dreams are just a lot to handle. Okay, let's finish up this beautiful reading by pulling a couple messages from the Moon Magic deck. Interesting. I, uh, I assess matters carefully and discern wisely. Okay, Me meaning to not make such quick decisions or overly think at the same time, finding that nice middle ground. I feel like you're very divinely guided this week. Every day I bring radical self-love to my mind, body, and spirit. And the last two we have is every day I focus on what is important and I am loved beyond measure. Don't forget it, okay? So I hope this reading was truly helpful. I hope you have the most amazing week and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye, Cancer.